What's up girls? Today we are styling a basic white t-shirt. If you've been following me and watching my videos, you know that I'm all about the basics. So let me show you how many ways you can style a basic simple white t-shirt. All right, so to start off, I'm going to show you the most common way that I style my white t-shirts and that's with a blue jeans, so a blue mom jeans in this case. And by the way, this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now is from Mango and what I love about it is that actually I get a size large just to get a little bit of an oversized feel, you know, so it doesn't stick to my body. So I love that the sleeves stick out a little bit and actually this one doesn't have a seam right here. Normally white t-shirts have a seam right around the shoulders but this one is very seamless in that way. So yeah, I thought that was an interesting take on the basic white t-shirt. But yeah, so in this case, I'm pairing it with my blue mom jeans and you can wear it, of course, you can wear it just like this you know, not tucked in, but I like to tuck in my t-shirts and mostly I do just a front tuck, but sometimes I do a full tuck as well. All right, and just like that, we have a dressy outfit. <laughs> I just added a blazer and I changed my slides to some heels and this pair of heels are from Zara. I love them because they have some, a little bit of cushioning on the sole and also they are not too high so very comfortable to walk a little bit in and because it's summer i thought let me just get a more vibrant color for the blazer but you can pair this with literally anything like my go-to is like a black blazer or a gray blazer but yeah i thought let's Let's just make it a little bit more fun today. So you can see how versatile a outfit like this is. This is a very nice outfit that you can take with you if you're traveling because with just like three pieces or four pieces if you count the shoes and maybe a little handbag you have you know multiple outfits you can wear the shirt on its own during the day if you're strolling going out and about and then at night if you want to be a little bit more covered up if it's a little bit chilly or something like that you can throw on a blazer like this and what i love about this particular t-shirt is that the material is a little bit thick so it doesn't look like a cheap t-shirt, you know, like a $5 t-shirt. It looks like a proper, especially if you iron it or if you steam it. Yeah, it looks like a proper, well-made, high-quality t-shirt. And what I recommend you to do is to accessorize. So here I added some necklaces, I'll link them below, and some rings because my fingers are picking through. So I really love to have some, you know, finger candy. <laughs> and because this blazer is oversized, you know, that looks super chic and makes me look like you know i have a sense of fashion you can also wear a simple white t-shirt with some dressy pants and dress it up throw on some heels in this case i did a little bit of a color blocking effect with the yellow heels and the lilac pants but if you want you can wear nude heels with these as well but here again you can choose whatever kind of pants dressy pants you want you can do just a basic white and black combination white and gray but if it's summer you know you can throw on some color in there as well this is something that when we get back to the office this is something that i can easily wear to the office and throw on a blazer if I'm going to meetings and stuff. But yeah, this is another classic outfit. Now these pants are from H&M and they look kind of like a linen material, but they are lyocell. But because they have the look and feel of linen, they look very dressy, but also very summery. And they are curvy girl approved because in the back they have a elastic waistband. So you can rest assured that it will fit nice around the waist without any gaps and it's beautifully high-waisted the pockets lay flat so sometimes because of my hips you know the pockets do they stick out a little bit but not for this one so yeah if you don't have a pair of dressy pants in your wardrobe yet you can check this one out here is another outfit that i will pack right now in a luggage and go on a summer you know warm beachy kind of 
holiday because I can see myself wearing this, walking, you know, miles and miles in this, exploring a city, like an old city, I don't know, Greece, Greece or something that's super on my mind uh, lately. <laughs> But yeah, and you can easily take this from daytime to night as well. Just maybe swap the t-shirt with a nice black bodysuit or throw on a black blazer over it and there you go. Maybe also swap the dad sandals actually. <laughs> I mean, depending on which restaurant you're going to. But yeah, this is so easy to put on, super comfortable to walk in. Now, if you have a problem with like your legs rubbing against each other when you walk a lot, you can wear a pair of shorts underneath this. And I found one that's, you know, kind of my skin color. So what I do with this one leg, because this has a slit, is I just scrunch it up a little bit so you don't really see it. But that will protect you from those days when you're walking a lot, you're sweating and stuff, and if you have thick thighs like I do, you know the problem, so. And here again, the jewelry is like the icing on the cake, you know? So if you have some dainty jewelry, necklaces that you can stack on top of each other, some rings, even some bracelets, you know, it just spices up the outfit a little bit. Well, not really spices it up, but it completes the outfit. All right, next outfit is another staple. I'm, I keep showing you like super essentials. I didn't do a summer essentials video this year, but I think that this video serves as a summer essentials video because most of the things, I think all of the things that I already showed you are just essentials, staples in your wardrobe. So a pair of cargo uh, pants like these, again, a timeless classic piece. I got these ones from H&M and they were a little bit big on me around the waist, so I got them fixed up because I've said this before, but when I find pants that really fit me well around, you know, my legs and I really love how it looks, the price is right. I think it's worth it to get them fixed around the waist, at least if that's the only issue. I've worn these pants so many times already that I think I've gotten my cost per wear so low at this point. They are super worth it and I can 100% recommend them. And this is my favorite way to style them. I also featured this pair in my how to style a white shirt. And equally with just white t-shirt or white shirt, they look, you know, it's kind of the same vibe that you're trying to, to give up, of, of course. T-shirt is a little bit more casual than a white shirt, but it's kind of the same thing. And I love uh, combining them or pairing them with my slides. These are also from H&M. They have a little bit of a platform, so they give me a little bit of a height and they are the most comfortable thing to walk in. All right, if you want a full white moment, this is it, right? Because white jeans, white T-shirt, I mean, doesn't get more basic than that but again, such a classic. Now I love combining white with tan. So I got my tan sandals. This is another comfortable outfit that I can easily walk, you know, a whole day in, even though these jeans are white. So you'll have to be careful where you sit and stuff like that. But it's like the epitome of a vacation outfit. And here again, same counts. You can easily dress this up by throwing on a blazer, throwing on some heels, and that's it. These jeans are from Abercrombie and they have a little bit of stretch, but still they have that mom style fit. And what I love about them is that they are super high-waisted, so it keeps my belly in check, you know? And with an all-white outfit like this, you can easily throw in a pop of color. I wanted to play it safe and keep it, you know, all neutral and muted, but I can easily pair this with the yellow heels as well, or actually purple, like a pastel purple or green, or of course any color because white goes with everything. But if you don't want to do that with your shoes, you can easily do that with a little handbag as well. And actually what will look cute with this entire outfit to make it even like to amp that resort kind of feel is throw on a hat, you know, a straw hat or a straw handbag and some nice big sunglasses, you know. And there you go. It looks like you're on a cruise or on a yacht and yeah, you're living your best life in an all white outfit. So I know I told you you can throw on a blazer, but actually you can even throw on an overshirt like this. This is from 
H&M and it's very nice linen. It's like a, it's their high quality line and this is just beautiful material. It hangs super nice and very nice and flowy. So say you are going to dinner during the night and you want to be a little bit more covered up and it's chilly. This is a way to do it because sometimes a blazer is just a tad bit too dressed up, you know? So you want something in between. So yeah, if you are looking for that, go for an oversized linen shirt. And you can pop on your stilettos, but honestly, I almost never bring my stilettos with me when I go on a holiday. So probably I'll do the yellow heels or just a regular pair of sandals or something like that. All right, come on now. If this is not a summer outfit, I don't know what is. Jean shorts and a white t-shirt and some sneakers. Yeah. To be honest, it never gets like super, super hot in the Netherlands to wear jean shorts, but you know, mostly a week or two weeks a year, the temperature gets above 25 degrees Celsius. So for those days, I'm definitely wearing my jean shorts and going out and about, let, let the legs live, you know? And I always have a blazer with me because you never know with this weather and you never know how windy it is. So. If it's windy, I like my arms to be covered up, so then I'll throw on a blazer. This is really super classic again. And yeah, I'm sure you have some type of shorts in your wardrobe. Doesn't have to be the exact ones like these, but any type of jean shorts or just Bermuda shorts will do. Now, if you want to make it even extra summery, <laughs> throw on a bucket hat. Let me tell you, you will be on trend. You will be covered from the sun. I mean, come on, win-win. All right, listen, if you want to get all up in the trends, like deep, <laughs> you can go for an oversized white t-shirt. This one is from H&M and it's super, super oversized. But what I love about it is that it has a little slit on the side. So it gives you a lot of opportunities to, you know, to maneuver with it. You can pair this with a biker shorts like I'm doing here. It doesn't get trendier than this. And of course the socks, you know, I even threw in a little ankle bracelet for y'all. But yeah, and then just work with it, you know, just scrunch it up a little bit. If you want, you can give it a light tuck, a light side tuck right there. Throw on some jewelry, your cute little handbag, you know, those, those mini handbags that only your lipstick can fit into it. That's the exact right aesthetic for this look. <laughs> but I guarantee that you will be comfortable. So if you like trends and you want to dabble into that a little bit, this is one for you. But as you can see from this t-shirt, it's very, very see-through. So it's a very thin material compared to with the previous one. The previous one that I had on is hands down a much better quality than this one. Now, if you want to bring back some shape to your body, you know, these oversized shirts don't do our bodies any justice you can you know get a belt or a chain belt like this just to bring the waist back in a little bit and just puff it a little bit you know play with it see what kind of fit you like better and if yellow is not your vibe of course you can go with any kind of biker shorts as well i saw a nice one that's like kind of a tie-dye print that's also super cute for summer so yeah, I hope that this inspires you a little bit to know which direction you need to go. All right, you guys, that's all for this video. I really hope that it inspired you to go dig into your wardrobe, see what pieces you already have and create beautiful outfits with them. If it's with a white t-shirt or white shirt or any kind of, you know, basics that you have, just think about multiple ways that you can combine them to create new outfits. Just remember that it's not always that you have to go out and buy something new. Sometimes you have pieces in your wardrobe that are just sitting there and that will actually look very cute on you just combined in a different way. If you want to see any other type of videos from me, you know, of course, I'm all ears. So leave a comment down below and yeah, I'll see you next Sunday in my new video. Bye.